Hey guys, so it's our last night here at Punta Final. It's the southernmost tip of Gonzaga Bay, uh, one of my favorite bays and places to come when I'm down in Baja. Um, and I've been down to Baja hundreds of times. And what's so unique about this place is every time I come, I find something new, something different, something that I hadn't seen before, and it never disappoints. Always exceeds my expectation. This place was one of the places I've been wanting to come visit for a while. Definitely, if this is your first time coming out, I would not suggest you come out here. There are a lot of other bays that are a little bit closer and campos that you can stay at where they have you know basic facilities, running water. Uh, this place is completely isolated, very, very remote. There's not even a sign pointing to where it is. They have water that they can haul out to you and you can just bucket shower. But other than that, um, the bathrooms are um, not... You're going to want to bring your own bathroom. I'll just leave it at that. We're completely dry camping. We've got our rig all set up for it. And yeah, it was an amazing three nights out here. Just gorgeous, gorgeous bay, really clear waters. Gonzaga Bay is just south of San Felipe and it's um, the water gets a little deeper there. The visibility gets better. San Felipe is a bit more shallow up north. It's not ideal for snorkeling, diving, stuff like that. But once you get down here, you can do some really nice snorkeling. You can do some spear fishing. Um, we're about to go. We did get in today with the paddle boards and did some fishing, caught some fish. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing some snorkeling and checking out the rocks out there, see what we can see out there. Gonzaga Bay is a huge bay. There are a couple of campos up north more. Um, there's a hotel too on the northern tip. That's a beautiful hotel full of amenities and a lot of access to snorkeling and the rocks and formations there. We are most certainly getting things moving forward with our Baja tours it has been a very difficult venture we faced a lot of challenges that we're finally getting through and we are uh, now getting ready to launch those tours and inviting you out here and show you all the biodiversity history culture and culinary experiences that Baja has to offer so we encourage you to visit Baja get out get in nature um, this is one of those places that you can really immerse yourself in nature it's just a very remote area you know no cell service you know no facilities you're just just you and the elements and i think that's what's so unique about that experience you know we live such fast-paced lives and technology is just so pervasive you're looking at your phone every hour on the hour when you're out here, you can uh, you can really disconnect, you can unplug and really immerse yourself in the water and in the nature. We hope that you find all this information useful and that it'll motivate you to explore our neighbors to the south. We are excited to get you out here and thank you for watching.